I rise in support of H.R. 582, the Credit Union Board Modernization Act. Every day, consumers in each of our districts rely on their local credit union to help them with things like securing a loan, to buying a home, saving for retirement, or even financing tuition. This means that credit unions need to spend their time working with their members, not wasting valuable resources and staff time checking the box on monthly meetings that may not be necessary. This bill allows credit unions to do that important work. By updating the, credit, the Federal Credit Union Act to reduce the frequency of required board meetings, certain federal credit unions will have greater flexibility and meeting requirements. At the same time, the safety and soundness of the financial system will be protected. Currently, federal credit union boards are required to meet at least once per month. Under the bill's new requirements, federal credit unions with a composite CAMELS rating of one or two will be required to meet at least six times annually with at least one meeting held during each fiscal quarter. All right, what does that mean? It means entities with the strongest performance and risk management practices will be rewarded. That means instead of checking the box on those monthly meetings, if they are of high quality uh, performance and risk management, uh, they'll be relieved of some of those burdens. To be clear, this is not a one-size-fits-all mandate. There's nothing in the bill that prevents those credit union boards from meeting each month or even more often if needed, and they do. In times of financial stress, these boards meet quite frequently uh, to assess risk and to protect uh, their members' nest eggs. This bill also acknowledges that new or poor performing credit unions may require more regular meetings to ensure that they can provide the level of service their communities deserve. This legislation continues to require monthly meetings for new federal credit unions during the first five years of existence. In addition, credit unions with a composite CAMELS rating of three, four, or five must continue to meet once a month. These are the credit unions that need to improve performance and risk management practices to ensure the safety and soundness of our financial system. I'll finish with this. This bill is a good illustration of how members can come together to create bipartisan legislation to modernize outdated practices and policies for the benefit of our community's financial institutions and for their members. Uh, I want to commend my colleague, Mr. Heisinga, uh, the subcommittee uh, chair uh, for oversight, uh, the gentleman from uh, Michigan, uh, for his good work, last Congress and this Congress on this bill, and a bipartisan bill indeed this is. And so with that, I reserve the balance of my time and urge my colleagues' adoption and support of this bill.